Today is an exciting day. Your Bibbo has been delivered, you've unboxed it, and are now ready to choose where you'd like it installed. There are a few things you need to consider when choosing the perfect spot for your Bibbo. Ideally, your Bibbo needs to be placed away from direct sunlight or a heat source. You will need a suitable cold mains water supply nearby, within 20 feet. This is usually under your kitchen sink. It must be well ventilated, so keep your Bibbo at least 5 cm away from the wall. Your Bibbo needs a normal 13 amp power supply within 1.5 meters of where the Bibbo will be located. You will need to carefully drill an 8 mm hole in your worktop, approximately 5 cm away from the wall, behind where you would like the Bibbo to be located. This means the hole will be hidden and looks super neat. Your Bibbo comes with a self-installation kit consisting of a length of water pipe, a Bibbo T connector, a shut-off valve and a right angle fitting. Identify your suitable cold mains water supply. Ideally, this should be a 15mm copper pipe, in good condition, with enough of the pipe exposed to enable you to insert the Bibbo T connector. There is often a valve to enable you to isolate the chosen pipe. If not, then you will need to turn off the main water supply to your home. Be sure to drain as much water as possible from the pipe before cutting into it. Mark and measure a 20mm section on your copper pipe. Using a suitable pipe cutter, make two cuts into the pipe, removing the 20mm section. Push the two ends of the pipe firmly into each end of the T-connector. Make sure the tap on the T-connector is turned off. Turn your water supply back on and make sure there are no leaks where the copper pipe fits into this connector. Feed the 6mm water pipe through the hole in your worktop. Run it behind, underneath or through your kitchen base cabinets and push it firmly into the T-connector. Cut and discard any excess water pipe, ensuring you leave enough slack in the pipe to be able to move your Bibbo to the front of your worktop. Push the other end of the pipe into the shut-off valve above your worktop. Make sure the blue isolation valve is in the closed position. Open the isolation valve under your worktop. Position the water pipe over the sink or into a bucket and open the blue isolation valve to flush through plenty of water. Turn the blue isolation valve back off. Now it's time to connect your Bibbo to its water supply. Please remember that your Bibbo weighs 17 kilograms, so take care when lifting it from its box. Remove the blanking plug from the back of your water inlet. You do this by simply depressing the collar and removing the plug with a pulling motion. Push the right angle water fitting into the water inlet and turn the blue shut-off valve to its on position. Now you can plug in your Bibbo and turn it on, making sure the heating switch is in the off position. The screen will light up with the Bibbo logo and it will then ask you to fill your hot water tank. Place a suitable container under the dispense nozzles. Use the red cup to start filling your hot tank. It may take up to a minute, but once the water starts to flow, press any key to stop. The Bibbo will now tell you to fill your cold tank. Press the blue cup to start filling your cold tank. Again, it may take up to a minute, but once the water starts to flow, press any key to stop. Once the Bibbo has completed its UV lamp test, it is ready to use. However, when using your Bibbo for the very first time, we recommend dispensing at least two liters of water from both the hot and cold side. You can use the blue shut-off tap to adjust the water flow rate if needed. Once you have done this, you can turn your heating switch on. A prompt on the screen will ask you to fill your hot water tank. 
This is a safety procedure to make sure that there is water in the hot tank once the heating switch is turned on. Please press the red cup to dispense a small amount of water and then any key to stop. Your bibbo will now start to heat and you will see the red bar begin to pulse and the white temperature line start to rise. Please note, when first used, the hot tank will take approximately five minutes to get up to maximum temperature and the cold tank will take approximately 15 minutes to get to maximum temperature. You can now go into the menu and set the date and time of your bibbo. Press the white menu key once. Press the red cup twice to scroll through the menu. Press the white menu key once to enter the calendar setting. Set your time and date and then press the white menu key to confirm and save. You can also choose your preferred temperatures for your hot, cold and ambient water. Press the white menu key twice to enter your temperature settings. Choose your preferred temperatures and press the white menu key to confirm and save. You are now ready to start enjoying your wonderful Bibbo. There are lots of other features you can get set up to personalise your Bibbo, so please refer to your user manual for these.